It is truly amazing what you can find completely unmarked in Fallout 4. South of the Gunners Plaza, you can find the ruined Grove Estates. It's rather foggy at the moment, adding to the eerie feeling of this little community that the swamp has slowly taken back. There's Yaogwai in one of the cabins here and uh, plenty of items for you to take. Teddy bears seem to be a common theme throughout this location. You can find some houses that are still intact, others like this where there is basically nothing. But there is a suitcase, jangles and more teddy bears for you to have a look at. I'm going to pick them up here just in case we bottle a rum. Oh, it's like a wee boat. See the wee oar and all? Oh, that is, that is neat. Someone deserves a promotion for adding things like that. A bobby pin box can be found next to the crate, but you don't actually have to unlock it. And uh, someone's barbecue got a little wet. Over to the next house, we can find yet again more items. Uh, plenty of toolboxes and jet seems to be strewn across this estate. Were they all drug users or were raiders setting up shop here before the local wildlife pushed them back out? Now, going back across the street, we can find a wee truck and trailer alongside another house. Inside, you can find someone was having dinner when everything went down. Um, plenty of items strewn across the way, as well as a wee cooler. Okay, and out the back, we can see into the distance here a house that is essentially just it's sunk into the ground at this stage. Um, inside you can find a couple where the chandelier has completely collapsed. Maybe they were using this as perhaps a raft of some sort. And that is a wee whiskey bottle and another bobby pin box, which leads me to believe that there should be a safe somewhere. Now, I have scarred the area several times to see if I could confirm that. And I can say with most certainty that I have not found a safe. That means if you all find a safe, do let me know where it is and I can pin the comment because I see lots of bobby pins and uh, oh this poor fellow up here or gal um, stuck in the wheelchair upstairs no no one to help her when everything went down definitely not a way to go there is a cat photo because it wouldn't be followed uh, unmarked if we didn't find some of them more whiskey and toolboxes you'd almost think the same person lived in each of these buildings as the items seem pretty consistent now, uh, that means there's a total of there are five buildings in this little site. I would have said it would have been a thriving community before the Great War. Now that we have done all that and played on the seesaw, we'll be finding ourselves another unmarked location further down. As you can see, this entire swamp area has many places to find. So let's go over there. Thank you.